that everywhere. They're popping up. When there's no other stores around, you'll still find the Dollar General. the next video I just thought I'd show you what I see when I'm sitting in my living room at night and I have my lights turned out just a little bit of Christmas I really don't do full-blown decorating but I do try to have a little bit in the living room in the TV room that we can enjoy and this is my happy place just thought I'd show it to you before I get started. Snow. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the little view of what I see back here when the lights are out. But what I was wanting to tell you is, I'm going to do a Dollar General store haul tonight. When I was at Michelle's, she's got a new Dollar General store that's just within minutes of her house. And... I wanted to go check it out. I do a lot of Dollar General store shopping, mainly because our town lost its grocery store a few years back. We had a shop right and it shut down. And for a long time, unless you could go to Walmart 10 to 12 miles either way, you were really pretty much out of luck on groceries and stuff, especially as far as fresh produce meats and stuff like that so our dollar general store decided that they would add a freezer section and we have a small produce section so in the coming months i'm going to focus on the dollar general store and i'll tell you why mom and i noticed the past couple of years that dollar general stores are popping up everywhere they're popping up. When there's no other stores around, you'll still find a Dollar General store. And we use Dollar General a lot. And I do mean a lot. Because when I can go three miles versus 12, I'm going to go three miles. And the people in our little town that live around there, they can walk and get what they need. And I'm proud of the fact that the Dollar General store is stepping up and giving people in rural counties a chance to be able to buy stuff. So on with the haul that I did before I went to Michelle's at her Dollar General store. So the first thing I picked up, I'm just taking them out of the bag. Okay. I got some foil tags. And it's a 24 pack for a dollar. Uh, so I didn't think that was too bad. I don't need a lot of tags, but I needed some. I seen this and thought I would try it. It's called a, let me see if I can even read, Aquazinger. It's an Aquazinger. It's a flavor infused infusion. Um, stainless steel mug and you Put whatever you want in the bottom, like your fruits or your vegetables, whatever, cucumber, whatever you want to infuse into your water. Put your water in here. And so I thought this would be a really great thing to try since I am trying to drink more water. And also it would make great gifts for Christmas for anybody that you know. And it has some actual recipes on the back. $8.00. But to me, it was worth it. Not anything I was looking for, but it's worth it. I think my camera's a little short, so hang on one second. I'll be right back. I think that helped a little bit. Not sure. Let's see what else I got in this bag. Yes, yes, yes. Always needing socks. And I thought the prices on their socks this time were cheaper than even Walmart. I got a 12 pack of the low cut boy socks. <laughs> See if I can do it. 
a 12 pack for five dollars so how much is that a sock 40 cent 40 something cents a sock yeah 40 let me see 41 and a half cents or whatever a sock pair of socks so 12 pair of boys low cut socks for five dollars I always wear socks in the house because we're always dragging in stuff on the floor. I think when you got carpet, you don't notice it as much, but when you have hardwood and vinyl, uh, linoleum, what do you, whatever kind of floor you have that's not carpet, I always like to have socks on because I can't stand to step even on one little piece of grain of anything. So, 12 pair of women's low-cut socks, $5. So, Eli has not seen this yet, Eli, but these go on our Christmas tree. You like those? Yeah. And, um, they had these little lanterns for the Christmas tree. They were buy one, get one half off. From here, they look like little bells. You like them? Mm-hmm. So... I, actually, I had 12 and two of them, the little tops weren't on them when I got to the checkout, so I told her I'll just go with the 10. But I got them buy one, get one half off, so for each two, I paid $1.50. And I got five of the red and five of the silver. And so Eli and I will be, Eli, we're going to have... Fun decorating on the tree, aren't we? Yes. Eli and I decided we wanted it more of a country, woodsy, outdoor thing. Okay. Not a lot of knickknacks and stuff on it. To us, these, these definitely fit the bill on uh, outdoors. But anyway, I got ten of them. And... I've got to get another bag. I need to go ahead and put these, I guess, back in the bag after I took them out. But I just think they're adorable. Same. They were a dollar a piece. They were adorable. Mm -hmm. But for a dollar and a half for two, I couldn't beat it. And our Dollar General store actually did not have these when I looked. Because I was actually going to pick up a couple more. So I'm just happy we got ten of them. So anyway, I'm going to bag all this stuff back up so I can take it where it goes. And I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> okay, talking about decorating our tree. I may show you in another video, but I do have already some glass. Well, they're plastic, but they're clear ornaments. Looks like snow in them with the little holly. And we love these in our tree. And I found these at the Dollar General store. They were $3.00. when I picked them up. This one did not have the snow in it, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to have a couple that didn't because we have several that do. But these are just too cute. I hope, let me see if I can turn it around where you can see it a little bit better. These are just, they're too cute. I know you can buy them and make them yourself. And at the Dollar Tree, they actually have these for a dollar, I believe. Different shapes that you can decorate. But for three dollars, I got four of them and they already have what I want in them. So I thought that was a good deal. Could have waited till they went on sale when I got those. I didn't because if I wait, they may not be there. Same thing with the bells that I got at Michelle's Dollar General store. Uh, when I got here, they didn't have them. So I was nice and picked Kenny up some socks while I was picking up Eli and I some socks. So I got him 12 pack for $5 of the low cut. We wear these a lot around the house, like I said. One of the things that I really, really was glad to see and I've never had one this big, but it says, I've cut back to just one cup of coffee. And I believe it's a 30 ounce mug. 
Yes. 30 ounce mug. I drink a lot of coffee, don't I, Elon? So I figured I won't have to go fill my cup up as often with the 30 ounce, will I, Elon? Let me see if I can get it open. I was gonna actually show it to you. Cause I'm gonna wash it and use it. Also good gift for a coffee drinker if you're making a gift basket. And I may show you a gift basket or two. Don't know. Got the tape stuck to me. They've got it waged in here really good and packed real good. But this is my one cup of coffee per day. <laughs> I may bring in a regular cup and show you what it looks like. I just couldn't pass it up. It's a frivolous buy for me. Like I said, great Christmas gift. If you want to do a gift basket with some coffee and some, uh, maybe some uh, little tea biscuits or little, I call them coffee cookies, the little bread cookies, shortcake cookies. But that's what that is. Be back in a minute. Our little Chi Chi, our little Chihuahua, he's around 16 years old. He had a little accident. I have to keep him in the house right now. It's way too cold. But another thing that I got, got me some hand needles. I plan on starting my sewing again. And this was a big variety. No telling where I put all my sewing stuff in the years since I've been sick. I've got some of it in another room right here where I know where it's at. But for a dollar for all these needles, there's 70 needles. Figure it can't be too bad. Also got a little sewing kit, a dollar. And I know that they have sewing kits at the Dollar Tree too, but I gave a dollar for it. And remember when I told you about the infusion, infusion cup that I bought, the stainless steel mug, we are trying to stay off of uh, much sodas. So, I got some Starburst Cherry Great to go in the water. It was one dollar. And you also can get a lot of these at the Dollar Tree, but one dollar. Never had the Cherry Pomegranate, but I'm going to try it. I believe it's going to be good. And I got some Tang. I love Tang. And so I thought with these flavors, I'll probably be able to drink water better. I hope. I'm trying to look around. Got one more item. But I think I'm going to take you over to it. And I may have to turn out the lot. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I paid twelve fifty for it. Another frivolous buy. But I wanted it. So I, And it goes really good in my living room. Hang on one second. Okay, before I show you the one thing I was going to show you, I forgot to show you some candles I got at the Dollar General store this week. I got me a red truck candle. I was waiting on these candles to go on sale. They finally were buy one, get one half off. So, I went ahead and got two. I got the truck. And I got the red kettle. And the candle smells really good. Let's see. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, it's got a cinnamon smell to it. I can't wait to use them. They were regular five, let me see, I think five or six a piece. Let me see here. That one, six dollars. And it buy one, get one half off, so that made both of them nine dollars, four fifty a piece. But here is the little tree that I got above my shells that I just had to have. See the little truck? For $12.50. Didn't have many lots on it. I actually got these in a haul that you haven't seen yet from the Family Dollar Store. And I've got more, so I may put more on it. I don't know yet. This kettle right here goes where the other 
tree is. The truck stays in here. I'm gonna turn out the light a minute just so, so you can see what, what it looks, looks like, like in the dark so far. Love the snowman and I love the trucks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to get better and better about it. it may take me a while. It took me a long time to get this far. But if you enjoy my videos, I hope that you hit the like button, comment, subscribe to me if you wish, and share my videos. I'm trying to grow my channel for the next year. And if I don't, I still enjoy for all the ones that enjoy watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon.